Welcome to my channel, Let's Talk. Let's do talk. Let's talk about <clears throat> this one thing that is a little misunderstood. The 12%, 12 to 13% populace that makes up <clears throat> what is considered African American is a people. It's a people who have, has been disparaged, disenfranchised, gentrified, uh, under genocidal um, attack. Uh, existing within a holocaustic experience connected to the land that is now called Africa has been separated from their families has been enslaved has been oppressed repressed has totally been mistreated, abused, eradicated to the smallest degree of existence, have endured to the most horrific experiences from different peoples on this earth. So let's be clear, to say Black Lives Matter does not cover the span of trauma and horrific experience that continues to this very day. No one can tell what your personal orientation is on a sexual basis. However, people can actually look at you and say, hey you, I can see you are black. Hey you, I can see you are melanated. You look black. People don't look at you and say, I can tell that you are actually LGBTQ and whatever else you want to say. Okay? Unless you are, how are you saying, uh, perpetrating a stereotype that is not known. So, I wanted to express the fact that there is some kind of misrepresentation with placing LGBTQ and whatever else you want to say with the black lives now that doesn't go together because this orientation is not a people okay you can find this orientation within African American people so this is not a people However, the Black Lives Matter movement that was created by two individuals do not truly represent the African American populace. This is a fact that must be understood. It does not change the fact that the Black Lives have always mattered. It mattered Umpteens of years ago, many, many moons before the pale face came to this country, before they colonized many, many countries, before the allies colonized. Black lives matter, black land matter. So please, let's not get this 
matter confused. African American are a very disparate group. And there is not outside of this group and those who have integrity to speak up on behalf and join this group in their plight, there is not another who exists that can express this better than the 12 to 13% themselves. Other than our ancestors. Fam, tell me what you think. Because this stuff that is going on does not represent the 12 to 13 percent who are still under attack today. Who are still disparaged, disenfranchised, experiencing gentrification. Disparities beyond disparities, economically, politically, educationally, housing, employment. It, it is so much. It's just so much. I did say peace and blessings.